This is AppChasers.com. Today I thought I'd show you how to print from your iPad or iPhone using Printer Pro by Rito. Now you might know that in 2010, Apple introduced AirPrint, which is a feature that allows you to print directly from your iPad or iPhone to your wireless printer that has an AirPrint capability. Now, some printers don't have that, of course, so we're going to show you not only how to print directly to your printer with AirPrint or print through your computer to whatever printer you have that might not have AirPrint capabilities. So we've got Printer Pro open here. This is the main documents view, and we've got a list of some documents that we brought into Printer Pro in the past uh, and have printed those already. But you can see we've got our, pr our printers um, listed over here on the right hand side. We're using a Canon MG3500 series printer which has AirPrint built in. We've also got a PDF printer that we can use and that basically just converts whatever we're looking at into a PDF. So let's say you've got a, uh, an email here. We'll bring in a mailbox here which is our preferred email app. We've got a PDF that someone sent us that we want to print. So we'll open that up here in mailbox Okay, here's our PDF. Now to print that, we can type or touch in the upper right hand corner. So we'll do that. All right, now we do have a print button right here. Uh, you'll see that in the lower portion. If I touch on that, you can see my Canon printer is showing up. This is the built in iOS AirPrint feature. But it doesn't give us very many options. We can choose if we want double-sided, and we can basically just choose how many copies we want. That's it. But to get more abilities, we want to go back in here, and we want to open this PDF in Printer Pro. So we'll type on that. Here we are. We've got our printer uh, or our PDF brought in here. We can choose if we want a portrait or landscape mode. We can choose our printer, whether we want to print that to our Canon MG3500 or not. And we've got a few different options here. First of all, this one's really important, the print range. Now, there's only one page in this document, but if there were more, we could uh, select page 4, 9, and 11, for example. So we'll back out of that because this only has one page. We can pick the original size. We can pick fit to page or fill the page. And then we also have these different layout options if it was a multi-page document. And then we can choose uh, how many copies that we want to print here. So let's do that and let's send it right over to our printer. So we'll tap on the print button here. We'll see what happens. And now back here in Printer Pro, we can see we're back in our Documents view. And again, this saves our documents into Printer Pro so that we can print them again if we like. Over on the left-hand side, you can see we're in Documents view, but there are a number of other ways that we can print from Printer Pro. So you see down here we've got our photos. We can go into our camera roll and print pictures that we have um, already on our iPad or iPhone. This is a neat feature, our contacts. I really like this because um, it's nice to have a hard copy of all your uh, contacts on your iPhone or iPad. And you can go ahead and select which contacts you'd like to print out. And when we click print here, watch what happens. It creates a nice list of these contacts, um, all formatted, nice way to be able to print them out and refer to them, just in case you ever lose them from your iPhone or iPad. Now what if you want to print from a web page? This is very easy with Printer Pro. We'll show you how to do that. We'll go over into Safari here on our iPad. We've got a website already open, so you can open any website. And then we'll type or we'll touch on the share icon in the upper left corner. So we'll touch on that and this time instead of uh, opening in Printer Pro, you see we don't have that option, but we can copy. So we'll hit the copy button. We'll switch back over to Printer Pro. And now we're going to tap on the left-hand side where it says Clipboard. Watch what happens. It brings that website right in to Printer Pro. 
So we'll now hit the print button. It's going to format it in a nice way. Uh, very simple way it formats it, cuts out all the clutter, and we're ready to now print this document. Now, what if you don't have an air print capable printer? What do you do then? Well, don't worry, Printer Pro has you covered because it has a desktop helper app that you can install that'll help you print from your iOS device through your computer. You can see that here on Riedel's website. You're able to download this helper application to your uh, Windows computer or your Mac, and then you'll be able to print using your computer, but a document that's on your iOS device. It's a nice way if you don't have a air print capable uh, printer, you can print using a USB printer, using Printer Pro. So we really like Printer Pro here at App Chasers. Nice way to get a lot more options when printing a document, much more than just using the built-in AirPrint option. So this is AppChasers.com with our review of Printer Pro.